Hello everyone, my name is Ben Sanovasti, Field Application Scientist with FireRat. And today I would like to talk to you about image acquisition using our newest imaging system, the Chemidoc MP. So the Chemidoc MP is a multiplexing system that can be used to detect band on a chemiluminescent blot, on a chemifluorescent blot, and also on nucleic acid gels and colorimetric assays. So it's really a nice tool to look at with high versatility to look at different applications. The software that is used to run our Chemi.MP system is ImageLab 4.0. When we open the software, we get this really nice startup page that guides you through a new protocol or basically opening a file for data analysis. So in protocols, we can select from new single channel protocol or new multi-channel protocol, or we can open a previously saved protocol. So say if you want to start by uh, looking at a new single channel protocol. And a nice feature about this software and the whole system is that everything is automated. So the workflow is automated. We basically select our application, whether it's a nucleic acid gel, protein gel, blots, or a custom gel. Um, we select our application and the light source and the filter will be selected automatically. So you can see that in the nucleic acid gels, we have all these dyes that are preset into the protocol. And we can select the dye we basically stain our gel with. So from ethidium bromide, cyberdine, or cyberstain. Say we want to look at cyberdine. And now you can see that the filter is selected at filter 1, and the light source is selected at UV transillumination. And this is all automatic. Next, we can select the imaging area. So if we have purchased a specific BIRAD gel, we can select it. And you can see how the area changes. And we can also enter the imaging area. We can set the image exposure time either manually or automatically, looking at intense band or faint band. And we can select to highlight saturated pixels as well. So the next step is the position gel. And we can select to zoom in or out in here. And then run the protocol. And there we have our image. And this is how easy it is to acquire an image of a nucleic acid gel with our uh, Image Lab 4.0 software. So say if we want to look at a blot. So we can either look at a chemiluminescent blot or four cent labeled blots. So say if you want to look at a chemi with high sensitivity, and you can see there is no filter and no light source, so no illumination with chemi. So basically, this is automatically set. We can enter the imaging area. And the nice feature that we have for our chemi luminescent plots is we can set up signal accumulation mode. So if we click on Setup, now the software will ask us, OK, what is the first imaging time that you want? So we can set it to, say, one second. And the last imaging time, we can set to 10 seconds. And the total number of images to take, I can select four. So now the first image will be taken at four one second exposure. The second image will be taken at four second exposure. Third image at seven seconds. Fourth image at 10 second exposure. So this is a really nice tool that can be used. And you can also select to highlight saturated pixels. And then when we position gel, we can also select to zoom in or out obviously, and then run the protocol. So first second, and then the image at four seconds, and seven and 10 seconds. So there. Now I can look at each of my uh, images, and I can right click to save one or save all of my images. So if I save all, it'll be saved as a nice folder with all the image files. 
and then I can select an image to continue as well. So this is how easy again it is to look at um, our chemiluminous luminescent blocks. So let's look at a new multi-channel image. So if I click on new multi-channel uh, protocol, I can select a specific protocol for channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. So the nice thing is I can select a plot, and I can select from either chemi or specific dyes that are used. So say if I want to select size CY2 from my channel 1, looking for either intense or faint bands, and I can select the color. And then click on OK. In channel 2, say I want to look at um, Alexa 546. And I'll select it as green. And a nice feature is that I can also look at my color metric assay to look at my uh, protein standards. So I can look at both my targets and my protein ladder in one plot. So I can, so I can compare, um, basically look at the molecular weight of my target proteins. And then select a specific color, click on OK. Again, we would position our gel, zoom out and then click on Run Protocol. So now we can first see the image from channel 1, and then channel 2, and channel 3. So you can see that we have the, in this view, we have the multi-channel image. We have the Psi 2, Alexa 546, and the color metric, which where we can basically see our protein standards. And we can look at, select to look at the grid view, vertical view, horizontal view, or single view. And in the full image, we can select to hide a specific channel if we wanted to. And in the multi-channel image, I can select to hide either of the channels to look at one or two specific channels. So this is how easy it is to take an image again for uh, multi-channel protocols. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact any of your BioRag representatives. And thank you very much to listening to this tutorial.